Hi students, we're starting dictation with our common dictation reminders. Remember that you should try to write as much as you can. Of course, you're not going to be able to catch every word from every sentence, and that's really okay if you can't catch all of the words. That's why you're here, is to improve your ability to listen and interpret spoken American English. Remember that we always practice the sentences multiple times. The first few times, you'll hear the sentences fast, using my reduced spoken American English. If you can't catch it, wait until the second practice, when we're going to be slowing the sentences down, using our more clear pronunciation, and then making comparison between the clear pronunciation and the reduced pronunciation of American English. Remember to be patient. This is a difficult skill to improve upon. Um, also remember that this isn't about speaking like me. This isn't a pronunciation activity. This is about adjusting your ear and improving your ability to listen to and interpret spoken American English so that you can easier, so that you can have an easier time understanding people um, at your child's school, at your work, at the grocery store. Are you feeling ready? Let's begin. Before we jump into our sentences, um, just a reminder that this dictation is 100% focused on gotta, practicing this strange form of gotta. If you haven't watched the grammar video talking about gotta, you should jump over and watch that video first before you come into this dictation. It will help a lot for understanding the different sentences that we are practicing and the different questions that we are practicing today. When you're ready, come back to this video and we'll get right into it. Um, our first practice, remember we're always practicing twice. The first time, we're hearing it really, really fast. You try to get down as much as you can. It's okay if you're unable to write down everything correctly. Let's begin. Number one, I've got to get the work done. 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 Two. You've got to go to the store after work. You've got to go to the store after work. You've got to go to the store after work. You've got to go to the store after work. Three. We got to talk about what's been happening. We got to talk about what's been happening. We got to talk about what's been happening. Four. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. Five. What do you got to get done this weekend? What do you got to get done this weekend? What do you got to get done this weekend? Our last one, number six. I told her she's got to be on time. I told her she's got to be on time.
I told her she's got to be on time. I told her she's got to be on time. Coming back one more time for each sentence. One. I've got to get the work done. Two. You've got to go to the store after work. Three. We got to talk about what's been happening. Four. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. Five. What do you got to get done this weekend? Six. I told her she's got to be on time. Take a minute to look back over your grammar, over your sentences. Um, does it make sense what you have written? And then let's come together and review. Okay, if you've double checked your sentences, you've double checked your grammar, let's jump into our review. Number one, I've got to get the work done. I've got to get the work done. Remember that the I have becomes I've. The got to always push together as gotta. And then my phrase of get the becomes get the, get the. The T is held back. The T is not released. I've got to get the work done. Number two. You've got to go to the store after work. You've got to go to the store after work. Again, you have, contracting to you've, got to, my gotta. And then this phrase of go to the store becomes this really contracted, this really um, shortened up, go to the, go to the store, go to the store. Both of the T's, the to and the, they become um, held in, softer sounds of the D. You've got to go to the store after work. Number three, we got to talk about what's been happening. We got to talk about what's been happening. In this sentence, I don't even say the have. I've completely removed it. We gotta, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about what's been happening. What's, 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 what has been. What's been, what's been happening, happening. You don't hear the G at the end of my happening. You hear happening. We gotta talk about what's been happening. Number four, I really gotta work harder if I'm gonna finish in time. I really got to work harder. Again, I've completely cut out the word have. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. I really got to. I got to work harder. And my phrase of I am going to. Remember that sometimes this contracts from I am to I'm. Going to becomes gonna. And I'm gonna. I'm going to finish becomes this even more condensed, I'm going to finish. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. Number five, what do you got to get done this weekend? What do you got to get done this weekend? And this sentence is completely lacking grammar. What do you got to get done this weekend? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you becoming what do you, what do you got to get done? What do you got to get done this weekend? 
Of course, my beautiful grandma, what do you have to get done? What do you have to get done this weekend? And in this position, I would not stretch them out. What say, what do you have got to get done? I would never say this. What do you have got to? It, it would never work. But I can put in this informal piece of gotta. What do you gotta get done? And our last one, number six. I told her she's gotta be on time. I told her she's gotta be on time. She's, she's, she's gotta be on time. I told her, I told her, remember that my H in her is often deleted. I told her, I told her, she has becoming she's, and again, my got to, gotta. She's gotta be on time. She's gotta be on time. Now, the difference between number um, four, saying finish in time, and number six with be on time, finish in time, we're talking about a deadline. What's the maximum? Be on time, I'm talking about one specific moment, one specific hour, on time. All right, all six of them again for us. I've got to get the work done. I've got to get the work done. You've got to go to the store after work. We got to talk about what's been happening. I really got to work harder if I'm going to finish in time. What do you got to get done this weekend? I told her she's got to be on time. All right, that's the end of dictation for today. I hope I'll see you later. See you next time. How'd you do on this dictation? How'd you, how'd you do on this dictation? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one was the hardest for you, which one you'd like to practice a little bit more of, or let me know if they were all feeling easy for you too. It's always good to look at your success as well as your difficulties. Finally, my student told me I'm supposed to tell you. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Have a good day. Bye.